Howdy, it's Tubal Kane again, and the title of this video is The Segway Personal Transporter. Now, I borrowed this from my buddy Dan down in Bloomington, Illinois, who graciously uh, loaned it to me and said I could keep it for a week or so while he was out of town and make a video and just in general play with it and enjoy it. These are way too expensive for an uh, old shop teacher like me to buy, but uh, I thought you'd would find this of interest and I'll try to explain how it works and then uh, give a demonstration of uh, how to write it. The Segway PT was invented by Dean Kamen oh, 10 or 12 years ago and you've seen them around uh, not so much on the streets but uh, there are uh, policemen that use them and uh, you've seen them in movies and so on and they're really a unique device that stands upright by itself and balances itself and it takes only about five minutes to learn how to use them so uh, let me show you the controls and uh, try to explain how it works I don't know how good a job I'm going to do because uh, the thing is uh, primarily electronic with computers let's take a look at the main parts of the Segway starting at the top there's a set of handlebars very similar to a bicycle and then uh, the main stock here is called the lean steer vertical member and right in the middle there and I'll, I'll move the camera here in a second is uh, the little control board that's called the uh, info key controller and there's a docking station that's in the dock but it, it can be re removed if a fellow has an ocean. Now right on the handlebars again is the controller right in the front almost like a dashboard of a car where the uh, operator or the writer can see what he's uh, doing and it'll show the condition of the battery and, uh, and what mode it's in but let me start it up here. You might hear it come on and you may not. I guess you did. And that's the turtle mode which goes up to six or eight miles an hour and I never have taken it out of the turtle mode and then the uh, condition of the battery is indicated on there and other things as well which I don't want to go into because I'm just using this in its very simplest form and these handlebars on the stock can be adjusted up and down for people of different height but the machine Segway machine is uh, powered up and ready to go although I'm not ready The Segway rides on two rubber tires which are about 18 inches in diameter and behind the tires in the hub is a gearbox on each side and each wheel is powered by a two horsepower electric motor and they can be uh, uh, independently controlled and that's the way the thing steers. The lean steer, I call this a stock, that's probably not the correct name, moves back and forth and that's what allows you to move in the left or the right direction and generally your body is leaning as you make uh, turns, especially if they're tight turns and on it is a uh, kickstand here, I guess that was extra cost and these, uh, the fenders I believe were included but not these protectors here, and they work as a handle as well so you can uh, load the thing in a car or, or a truck. Let's move around to the other side. The lithium ion batteries are under the floorboard here and they're extremely expensive and must be kept charged in order to uh, prevent damage and there's a charging port right here and a cord goes into that and when you've got it uh, on the charger there are two green lights here that will indicate that it's charging. But in fact what's underneath here is two computers and five gyroscopes but actually they are balance sensors. They are no more a gyroscope than the man in the moon. I was a little disappointed at that but yet the technology is very sound and those sensors in turn send information to the wheels to help you balance. I'll explain that more here in just a second. 
But also under here are two computers, each one much more powerful than the PC that you're sitting at right now. And the reason there's two of them is that if one fails, what it'll, the other one will take over. But the gyroscopes that are in the Segway are not of the rotational mass type like this. So I was totally confused for all these years by gyroscopes. I just assumed that there was a huge gyroscope in here that helped you balance. When you mount and then you start riding the Segway, those sensors uh, it want to keep you in a vertical position. So as you lean forward, what's going to happen, instead of falling off of the thing or going over the handlebars, is the wheel will rotate a little bit to keep the uh, Segway under you. Similarly, if you lean backwards, it's going to go in the other direction to keep the Segway under you. So it's all done by the sensors telling the motors to go in one direction or the other. And the farther you lean toward uh, the front, let's say, when you're going forward, uh, the faster the Segway will move. And the same thing moving backwards. There's a speed limiter feature on the Segway. If you exceed uh, the speed, perhaps going downhill, the handlebar will back up and slow you down. So you'll, you'll feel the handles moving back toward you. Also, the entire stock will vibrate and shake if there's a major problem or if the battery gets too low. And that's the warning system. It's quite ingenious. Here's my 10-year-old grandson, Andrew, and he's our demonstrator rider. Say hi to the camera. Hi. And he's getting ready to mount, but before you mount it and the thing is powered up, the green light has to be on. So move the handlebars a little bit away from you until it gets green. Did you see it get green? Okay. Now the thing is ready to mount. And just a second here now. Go ahead and get on. Now stay right there for a minute. You see how we turned? I want you to go uh, forward just a little bit, Andrew. He's leaning forward. And now back up to the curtain. Stop right there. And he does that by standing straight up. Now turn sideways to me. And he's turning the stalk, the lean steer. Now turn it the other way. Now do a complete circle. He's quite good at it. Now there is some danger to this, and you must wear a helmet, but you can fall, and that's called a trip. You can fall, so it's not totally foolproof. Okay, Andrew's going to ride around my uh, two-car garage here, and uh, he's quite expert at it, so go for it, Drew Drew. There's limited space here, but these things are highly maneuverable. Notice that he leans his body into the turns as well. It's a rather intuitive machine, and with a little instruction, you soon become an expert. In fact, he's far better than what I am. The right and left motion again with the handlebars back and forth and the speed is done with your body. Okay, we're outside now and Andrew's going to give a little demonstration. It's, they uh, operate very well in the grass and should you fall you'd have a little more protection than you would on pavement.
Okay, come on over here. All right, young man, take it back to the barn. Both mounting and dismounting can be tricky the first time. So show them how to get off. He steps off, but yet he keeps his hands on the handlebars. And then we're going to power it down and go ahead and turn it off, Andrew. You possibly heard a noise, and then the kickstand. And then, of course, we would put it on the charger. Thank you, Andrew. That was a good job. Hope you enjoyed this video, and perhaps you want to buy or rent a Segway. It's an amazing machine. This is Tubal Cain saying so long for now.